Hello everyone, in this video we have a problem with Euler's method. It says use Euler's method with step size 0.1 to estimate y when x is equal to 0.5 where yx is the solution of the initial value problem y prime is equal to y plus x multiplied by y and y0 is equal to 1. Okay, so first what we're going to do is try to find Okay, so I'll explain what Euler's method is first. So if we have the graph of y is equal to e to the power of x, for example, this is just an example, this has nothing to do with this, except I'm just showing you guys what Euler's method is. If I have, if I know what the value, the, if I know the y value at x is equal to 2, so that would be, well, actually, let's say that we don't know what what this function is, okay? Then, and if we know that this at x is equal to 2, let's say that it is 2.5. Then, and if we're trying to find for the value, the y value at x is equal to 2.5, then, like, approximate it using Euler's method, and we want the step size to be a 0 0.5. Then what we would do is first find for the tangent line at x is equal to 2. So if we find it, then we'll have this. And let's say that we know what the slope is. Like, I don't know, slope is x plus 1. And then at x is equal to 2, we would be able to find for the slope, and we also know the y value, so that means that we can find for the tangent line at x is equal to 2. We can write it out. So to ap approximate the y value at x is equal to 2.5, what we're going to do is use the tangent line. We're going to, when we write out the tangent line at x is equal to 2, we're going to have something that looks like this. We're going to have something that looks like that, right? We're going to have something that looks like this, and then we're going to use this to find for the approximated y value at x is equal to 2.5. So, like, then at x is equal to 2.5, the y of the approximated y value would be right here. Okay, so this is the concept of Euler's method. Now let's actually get to the actual problem. We start with x is equal to 0. x because that's what we know. And we're trying to estimate the y value at when x is equal to 0 0.5. And we know, we know the slope. So at x is equal to 0, the y value is 1. And the slope is... Um, the slope would be, we would put the slope here, so y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0, so our slope would be 1. And using these two, we can find for x is equal to 0. We would have y is equal to 1 multiplied by x minus 0, and then add 1. And so this would be our tangent line, and now we can move on to x is equal to 0.1. Here we move, we already moved on to 2.5 because the step size was 0 0.5, but here the step size is 0 0.1, so we can only move on to the next 0 0.1 value. So the y value would be, we're going to approximate the y value at x equal to 0 0.1. We put it in here and we have 1.1. For the slope, we have, we have 1.1 plus 1.1 multiplied by 0 0.1, which is 0 0.11, and this is equal to 1.21. Using these two, we can find for the tangent line. That would be y is equal to 1.21 multiplied by x minus 0 0.1. Add the y value, which is 1.1. This is equal to 1.21 multiplied by x minus 0 0.121 added, okay, whoops, I'll just do the whole thing. So 
we would have negative 0 0.2121 added by 1.1 1 .1 and and that would be a 0 0.979 so that would be our tangent line at x is equal to 0 0.1 now we can move on to x is equal to 0 0.2 at x is equal to 0 0.2, we're going to find for the approximated y value, which will be 1.21 multiplied by 0 0.2, and then we're going to add 0 0.979. And if we do that, we would get 1.221. And then for the slope, we would get, we would have to put, multiply our x value and y value together and then add the y value. If we do that, we would have 1.4652. And then using these two, we can find for the tangent line at x equal to 0 0.2. That would be y is equal to 1.4652 multiplied by x minus 0 0.2 added by the y value, which is 1.221. Now, if we simplify this more, we have 1.4652. Okay, you know what? I'm only going to do it to here. I'm going to approximate it to the thousandth place. Then multiply by x, and then we're going to subtract it by 1.4652 multiplied by 0 0.2, which is negative 0 0.2930. So I'll just approximate it to the thousandths again. And then we have to add that with 1.221. That would be, okay, so I'll just do it right here. We would have plus 0 0.9927 and 96. I'll just approximate that to the thousandths again and we would have 0 0.928. Now this is our tangent line at x is equal to 0 0.2. Now we can move on to at x is equal to 0 0.3. And so I'm just going to erase this so that we have more room. Okay, so we have x is equal to 0 0.3 now. And at x is equal to 0 0.3, the y value is equal to, approximately equal to, we just have to put in x is equal to 0 0.3 into there. So we have 1.465 multiplied by 0 0.3 and then add 0 0.928 right there. And we would have 1.3675. I'll approximate that to the thousandths again. And we have 0 0.3. Three, I mean 1.368. Okay, now the the slope here would be just adding the y value with the y value multiplied by the x value, and that would be equal to 1.7784. I'll just approximate that to the thousands again. And then using these two, we can find for the tangent line. That would be y is equal to 1.778 multiplied by x minus 0 0.3 added by 1.368. If we simplify this, we have 1.778 times x. And then we have, we add it by negative, negative 0 0.8 multiplied by 1.778. And then we add that by 1.368. That is 0 0.8346. I'm going to round that to the thousandths again, and we have five. So this is our tangent line at x is equal to 0 0.3, and then we can move on for x is equal to 0 0.4. At x is equal to 0 0.4, our approximated y value would be equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by 1.778 and then we can add that by 0 0.835 and then we if we do that we would have 1.5462 i'm going to approximate it to the thousands again and then 
the slope would be equal to 1.546 added by the x value multiplied by 1.546 that is equal to 2.1644 and it's approximated to this our, our tangent line at x is equal to 0 0.4 using these two with these three would be 2.164 multiplied by x minus 0.4 added by uh, 1.546 and then now let's calculate this let's simplify this more then we have 0 0.6804 I'm going to just put it as that and so that's our uh, tangent line at x is equal to 0 point, 0 0.4. Now we can move on to x is equal to 0 0.5. That would be, the y value would be 0 0.5 multiplied by 2.154 added by 0 0.68. And that is 0, 1.762. And the slope would be equal to the y value added by 0 0.5 multiplied by the y value. And that is 2.643. Now using these three information, we can find for the tangent line at x. I don't know what I'm doing. Now that we found the y value, that's our answer. So this is our answer. y when x is equal to 0 0.5 is equal to 1.762 thank you for watching everyone that would be the end of the video and i'm so sorry if i made a mistake i don't think i did but if i did then feel free to point out my mistake so that everyone else can see that i did make a mistake and they won't make the same mistake thank you for watching everyone bye have a great day